Hello there and welcome back to a, another episode in our Timberborn series. So, in this episode what we would like to do is fix up this whole side, or this side of the mountain at least, with having, I think, some storages in here. I'm not really sure how far down can we go, but we also want to do the entertainment at the top of the mountain. Now, whilst we are doing that, I have already queued up some of the dirt blocks that we are going to need and what I'm sort of thinking is we could release some of the water inside this canal and therefore making this area a bit more fertile as well okay so that's the initial plan right now they are carrying the dirt blocks over it's gonna take them a little bit of time so that's uh, that's fine let's uh, have a look at a couple of other things as well I would also like to start doing the same we do want to raise the I think at first just the side of the mountain to make it look like it there's a massive cliff over here just a re really big mountain that would be very cool now looking at our newest district i don't think this is a yeah this is not a temporary one this is definitely a permanent one not entirely sure if the center is gonna stay where it is right now but yeah all of our scrap metal is being produced in this mine right now well 50 percent of it actually to be to be exact I have also put, a, put down a couple of levees over here just to block this water source because we don't want to flood the colony itself or the mine, I mean. And I've also scheduled in some uh, dams, but they are out of range right now. We could probably fix this very easily. If, uh, let's see, they do have to go down a level. Okay, so perhaps... We can create some roads. Okay, you are still a little bit higher. And you can't really go through. So that means we are going to have to climb down from here. Which uh, <laughs> might be easier just to give them a different route. Okay, so why don't we scrap all this. Yep, let's cancel all these commands. And what we, what we shall do. Perhaps this might be a little bit easier if we just through this small canal okay and probably from somewhere around here actually we might just cross over do you know what yep never mind let's do um, one of those platforms over here and stairs up from here as well I know we don't actually have any builder columns in here right now and that's because they are all in the hauling post okay so that's definitely something we shall fix as well the easiest way to do this you don't necessarily have to ramp up the column production per se but as we can see we got 17 beavers that don't have a job whereas with the columns well one spare one right now not in here but perhaps there are some jobs where we can put the beavers back in so for example let's say these two over here because we got a ton of blanks already 1400 to be exact Okay, so now three spare beavers, but if we change, let's have a look, we'll grab the district center. Right now we have 49, but I think we only needed 47, right? Okay, good. Uh, this uh, one here, currently we have 18, but I would like to increase it. So maybe we give you... Yeah, let's give you a couple more. So, three. Okay, there we go. And we can also unpause you, maybe give you the lowest of priorities. So that way, they will fill the other workplaces first. I think five will be enough for now. Let's have one construction beaver as well. Oh no, he's gone somewhere else. Anyways, alright, let's move over. So, this one here... Oh, you still have two spare ones. Okay, 47. Let's have a look. 47, so I guess we are going to have to send you out. Yep, two of them move over. Okay, this is good. And now if we look at our district one as well. So, yeah, let's do the columns first. So right now we have 23 here. But another two workplaces. I guess you could be changed over to normal beavers. Now we have two spare and where are the other 20 odd 
Eve is working all the columns. Okay, we got a couple here. You can go. Do we have anyone in this district? Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to send a couple of columns in here, actually. Let's do this first. We'll send you only one. Okay, district one, two. Okay, it must be seven. There we go. We shall send you one. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And what they will do here, there's a few beehives that are still to be constructed. Right, okay, there we go. So that one's solved. Uh, let's have a look. We still have two spare ones here. Oh, right, we got a ton of you in the distribution post. Okay, fine. And plus also in here as well, where we are producing Catalyst. And that is in quite a big demand. How? Okay, fine. Do you know what? We'll give you a ladder. And this is going to be the quickest way down. Right, so now that we are back over here, what's currently happening is we're just leveling the ground a little bit. And I do want to have four of uh, each of those buildings. So four producing metal, four producing treated planks. But we also want to start making some dynamite as well, because I'm pretty sure we are going to need a little bit more later on. For now, he's going to be saved. So yeah, you'll be fine. Let's jump back over here. I don't think we can get anyone else, can we? So perhaps we resume you as well. Yeah, I guess we can ramp up the production just a little bit because I do want to have the distribution centers between these two busiest districts manned at all times. And currently what's happening over here is, well, we had some rearrangements, of course, but I also kind of do want to push this back a little further. Okay, so we have a distribution post already here. And now all we gotta do... Let's have a look. All we want to do is... Get rid of this one. There's quite a few recipes in here. Okay. So the food and biofuel is going into that one. So what is it? Potatoes, spatatok and biofuel. Okay. So we'll set you up. We had biofuel. We had... Uh, grilled potatoes, where are you? Right over here. Okay, wonderful. And we shall also send you grilled spanatok. Actually, do you know what? We're going to uh, change you to bread because we have a ton of bread as well. But spanatok seems to be a little lower, I think. Yeah, only 176, whereas bread, there's tons of it. Okay, so that's one of them already done. Now the other one is receiving catalyst, dynamite and medicine. Okay, so catalyst. Let's have a look. Here we go. We also have dynamites or the explosives. I can find you as well. There we go. And the last one was medicine. Okay, it should be somewhere here. There we go. All right, so now what we can do. How much stuff do you have in here? Oh, okay, quite a bit. Actually, we're not going to delete you. We are just going to ask everyone to start working from here. Alright, there we go. Fantastic. And with the access... Oh, I guess we are going to have to put you somewhere here, which is already decent. Alright, gates go there. This one comes out. And... Oh, right, right, right. Metal planks. Sorry, metal blocks, planks and scrap metal. Well, I don't think we are going to send scrap metal. Oh, there we go. There's the recipes. So gears, planks and metal. So you are going to go. Here we go. We got the gears. Now planks and metal. Metal blocks and planks go here as well. All right. Where are you? Okay. Right over there. Beautiful. So this one. Oh, okay. I think it's the top ones, isn't it? And now you should be receiving nothing. And there we go. The range is pretty decent and we can move. I think we have a spare beaver. Yes, we do. Which means we can... <laughs> now we got a couple over here. Actually, only one of them is operational right now. And that seems to be fine. Our stocks are actually full. So, yeah, I think we can leave things as they are. And we also have now a forester here as well, which is good. All right, 
So where are those two spear columns? One is here and one is here. Right. Okay, so what we can do... Let's have a look. We can further increase the minimum required. Let's uh, put it on 24. And hopefully these two spare ones will jump over. Or maybe not. Ah, oh, interesting. But it seems we have the amount of columns that we do need here. Cool. Now, coming back to the construction of the mountain, how have you guys been doing? Okay, so this section is almost done. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer because there's only four of them running around. Oh, our dirt pile has disappeared. How is that possible? Oh, you are out of range again. Right, because you have to go all the way around. I guess we could give you a slightly more direct route. Another thing I think we have to do is maybe we just ramp up the production a little bit as well. But yeah, let's try and fix you up then real quick. This might be... Hmm, it's not going to be the shortest route. And you're not going to reach all the way here. We do have to go straight through, I'm afraid. Yep. Alright. There we go. So you can go through here. These trees are going to have to come out, I'm afraid. And we clear up the space a little bit as well. Okay. And then the roads. Alright, so this is not too bad. We can cut straight through. Right. And jump over. Here as well. Hopefully this is within range. Well, I guess we'll find out. Let's give you the highest of priorities. There we go. Yep, they can reach all of them, which is perfect. Now, to get down from here, I guess we do the simple set of stairs. Okay, there you go. Uh, no, not this one. Actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yep, we can even place you just like so. Oh, never mind. We don't need the stairs. We just do platforms. Okay, and then we'll uh, see in a little bit if that's going to help us or not. Okay, you as well. Right over there. Should be connected up now. Beautiful. You don't really have any more trees. So we can pause this forester over here. And that's actually pretty lovely. It hides all the levees behind the trees, so... Yeah, perfect. Call it a win. Right, so... We used to have a massive dirt pile. Hopefully we are going to build this up very, very shortly. If this isn't going to be enough, let's see. Six in two hours, so every hour we make about three, three dirt. But if we get access to you... Okay, do you know what? Let's give you the highest priority so we get it done very quickly all right there we go and then we could even consider opening the second one as well now how is our power doing okay halfway down the hill right 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 we don't really need a ton of construction people so perhaps we also don't need you running 24 7 and let's see. Okay, we don't really have a lot of spare beavers right now. <laughs> I guess what we could do... Let's open this house in here. And we shall send... Let's have a look. No, we want to send you to forestry. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, we'll send six over. And now you can become builders... So that way we have a few, a few more spare columns. And what do you cost? Oh, 100 treated planks. Okay. I think you're going to get a column. So we get it operational 20, 24 and 7. Here. These are for dynamites. Okay. I guess you are going to have to be swapped. Although... It kind of looks nicer if this one becomes the metal or the smelter. And then with you, you don't really have a lot of stuff in here. And metal-wise as well, we're not doing too bad right now. Let's let's just pause one of them. Okay. 
And yet, should we build another one or should we not? Only seven now. And power is dropping as well. How much are we producing? Okay, not quite the full power, but it's not too bad either. How much power are you taking? 200. Mm, only four. Oh no, 27. Okay, that's not too bad. But we are feeding another two. Right, we'll uh, change you over. Let's do another wood workshop. That is definitely going to help us out a little bit. We got two spare columns right now. Well, four actually, it seems. Hmm. So if one goes here and we are going to need another four here, so that means we need a total of five. Oh, there are five spare. Does that mean there's one? No. Uh, before we go to District 1, let's have a look. Okay, so this line is almost done. That is great. Uh, that section here, yep, we're going to have to change around. Okay, let's jump to District 1. Wait. Okay, we lost someone. But never mind, we got two operational right now, so... Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think we're good to increase and bring you back to let's say about 50 okay so you have five spare currently oh the dirt is filling up pretty quickly actually 248 did i mess up something because i'm pretty sure we were just on 22 unless i clicked on something that wasn't giving giving us the accurate numbers but do you know what uh, it's, it appears that we might be fine after all. Yeah, so maybe the adding another two pots in here as well increased the production just a little bit. Okay, who's stranded again? Oh, right. That is smart of you, isn't it? So, let's try and avoid this. We will put ladder here instead. Okay, you've done already a few. This is good. You hopefully can do the rest as well. So if we hop over from here. Yep. So there we go. And a couple more roads for you. Range wise. Oh, uh, we are not able to see it just yet. But that's fine. We've got enough construction beavers. So that should be pretty quick. Alright. So over here we do have another terraforming station. You need a ton of treated planks. And a bit of metal as well. Yeah, so metal is fine, but three the planks, I... Hmm. If we want more dirt... No, that's going up, so we don't have to build another one just yet. And we've got six stations running right now as well. Um, Probably should run the numbers. We are getting... What is it? One every three hours, but we have six of you. So... What is it? Like two... Had a quick think about it. Six of you running here. Pine resin. Oh, we're out of it. Okay, before we get some more pine resin. So if we have six of you working, hopefully non-stop again, then that means three of you produce one per hour. Yeah. And then on the... So we get two treated planks per hour. Roughly. You take... One every two hours, but we have two of you running, so... Oh no, half a treated blank. Okay, so we should be gaining one every hour, roughly. Right, so where is our... Okay, here you are. You've already collected everything all... Or... Or maybe it's just not enough. Yeah... Hmm, okay. I guess we are going to have to make some more. Well, let's see. We could do a lot more collection points over here. You have access to most. And road-wise, I guess, yeah, if we place you right over here. So why don't we do that? Let's um, give you a few more pine trees. I think in the middle somewhere here we'll put a set of stairs. Okay, that should be fine. 
And now if we were to place you straight over here, we will also need to move around a little bit easier. So if the road goes from here, yeah, let's put a couple of platforms. I don't know. We'll, we'll uh, see. We'll give it a try. Oh, yeah. Only two in this district. I mean, I can definitely see there's loads of resin on those trees. So perhaps one of you is just not enough. Well, let's give it a try. How about we place another one? You have quite the reach as well, don't you? Yeah. Okay, so we could do... What about here, actually? Gets all the top ones and maybe even covers a bit of this section. Or, if we were to place you right on this corner here. Let's try This might work a little bit better. Yep. Okay. Now we take this one out. Give you a ladder as well. Alright. That should connect it up a little bit nicer. And then this way, if we plant some trees around this area as well. Then it's going to give us a bit more access to, to all of them. Okay, good. We'll uh, leave you be. Let me just speed up the time a little bit. I think it might be out of range, but that's an easy fix. Just a few more roads. Alright, there we go. Now, in the middle here, what I would prefer to do is I think it will be great to have some stockpiles of food. Right, for that, uh, <laughs> we don't really need to hold a ton of it. Like 4,000 per resource is a lot. What we can do instead, thanks to one of those, the I think it was the maximum mod, we can split it into, I'd say 500 each would be enough for, for one food type. And if we have a look, so I'd say... This seems to be in the middle. Got two on either side. Right. And then you could be placed here. We'll have the ladder shaft right in the middle. That means another one here. Hmm. Oh, we place you. Actually, yeah, let's do that. So, I guess we can flatten this area out a little bit. One thing we do have to keep in mind, of course, is... How far can we go? Because the access, if it's coming from the top here, actually it would be cool if it goes directly from the middle. Yeah. But then we might not be able to place the storages on either side. So let's see. If you are in the middle, let's do a quick test. Right, middle bit is here, which means access. Okay. Oh, yeah. Might be, will be in the way, I think. Although we could put place you right next to these ruins over here and then use the side platforms to cover it cover it up. Yeah, this might be more more reasonable. Let's have a quick think. Okay, all these roads and things can go out as well since they are no longer needed. Let's just have uh, the last of the dynamites placed where they need to go. What? Oh, water. Oh. Okay, so only one of them running. You're not running because... Access. Oh dear, okay. This needs to be fixed. I think what we can do... Right, right, right. If they climb down from somewhere... <laughs> uh, let's see. We need platforms. Four over here. Okay, then we need the bumps as well. And now what we can do... Because the roads or entrances are right over there. Uh, <laughs> Alright, there you go. I hope they will survive. How many peeves do we have here again? Okay, 68. Yeah, that makes sense. This one here is definitely not enough. What we could also do actually... Seems we've got a lovely spot over here. Also a emergency. 
highest priority, I mean. And there we go, this one as well. Both will be on high, get this done ASAP, actually. We'll drop the urgency on this one just a little bit, but it's still very high up there. Okay, when it comes to workplace, yep, highest priority. And there we go. We may have to actually export some water over about a thousand in here, so the stock levels are not a problem. Let's see, they are already constructing you. Okay, so that's good. And the other ones just need a few planks, but the planks are right next to us, so... Uh, do you know what? We shall uh, switch you over with one of those pots, and the same in here. Yeah, we got a few spare ones right now, so... Do you want them running 24-7? Alright, bring the logs over as well. This is definitely working. Good. And the logs are moving in. Alright, so that's good. It seems they just finished the construction. Let's put bots in here as well. Way better. Okay, dynamite. Are you not able to reach? Oh no, you're doing other stuff right now. Okay, so we'll give it uh, just a little bit of time. Let them have... Uh, let them construct most of those walls as well. And then we shall jump right back in. Alright, so that's going to be the plan. We got two storages in here. Just in case we might need it for something else in the future. Yes, we are going to leave it in there. And then now we can just cover it up. I was thinking that we might potentially want to use those arches here to cover them up. But then I was thinking, well, we could also use the side platforms at the top to, yeah, cover, cover it up this way. So that way we just have a bit more green ground and we could place some, uh, you know, trees for decorations in the future as well. So we'll try it this way first. If this isn't the way how we want to do it, then uh, we can always change it around as well, of course. Okay, so now let's have a look. I just want to place them. Uh, never mind, here is actually. Doesn't matter too much. And the rest of you can go just like so as well. Okay, and once these dirt piles are done. We can put the platforms right on top, just like so. Well, almost. Alright, same on this side as well. I don't think we need to climb down from this side anymore. So let's grab some dirt again. And bring you all the way there. Alright, I think that's about the right height, isn't it? Okay. And the same around here as well where are you okay fill it all up lovely and then just like with the other one if we grab the side platforms we can put three just like so all right that's good and then we can access it easily as well to change the amounts i mean with this one we can set you up right away i guess spread if we desire this maximum we put 500 in here which is going to be more than enough uh, same with you. We do 500. Okay. So that's... Uh, we don't need the flower. We don't need the roots. Uh, what else do we have here? Grilled chestnuts. Okay. Another 500. Potatoes. 500. Okay, there's a couple more. Don't think we're over yet. So there's a 2000 here. Okay, we can do one more item. Medicine would be nice to have close as well, but I do want to... Let's see, sunflower seeds perhaps. Yep, let's do this one, 500. Okay, so that fills the food stockpile. Lovely. And we'll cover you up as well. Right, it seems the beavers have all the columns, should I say. They've uh, pretty much finished this side already. Just a few more blocks left, and then they can start the rest of the middle section for us. Right, so the drought is finally over. All of our water stockpiles will hopefully start filling up very shortly. How are we doing for the water? 
Okay, way better than before, that's for sure. Uh, Druid planks is starting to go up as well, which is amazing to see. All right. And yeah, four running here and another two elsewhere. Dynamites, um, I think we're okay right now. We only have one factory that's making them, but because we haven't made any massive craters anywhere, yeah, we seem to be pretty, pretty okay with that. Okay, how many treated planks do you have? You have 24 still. Probably good to have some more haulers as well. Let's have a look. Okay, never mind. They are keeping it stocked, stocked up pretty nicely. So I guess our... <laughs> let's give you lowest priority and we can probably start building you. Actually, we don't have any metal blocks here now, do we? No, so we shall send you... Oh, wrong one. Metal blocks, off you go. I send you in as well. Right, access-wise, I think things are fine. What we can start doing is removing all of the trees in here. We don't want to leave any at the top. Yep, and I think same on this level. There was no scrap metal, was it? I think with this scrap metal here, there is a high chance that we might might be mining it out. Yeah, okay, so that gets all the trees on that side. And same on this side. There we go. Oh, there is a lower level as well, of course. Okay, there we go. And then we can put some supportive uh, roads if they do not have access to the furthest ones. Okay, are we sending metal? Yes, we are. So we'll give them a little bit of time. Yes, it takes a ton of, ton of the tree that blanks, but we do want to start building that mountain on this side as well. It's going to be quite a large scale project. But with those four columns in there, that's the only thing they'll be doing. And whilst we are working uh, on the other parts of our colony, we should have it completed. Nice and slow, actually, now that the water is flowing. Right. You can climb up there. Let's check the reach as well. Okay, so that's not too bad. We can also get rid of... The trees in here and there. And then perhaps... Can we just simply climb down? Oh, yes, we can. Alright, we might... Oh, no, we still do have to build them, right? Because they can't... Yeah, they either have to go up or down. And this seems a little shorter. So there we go. I mean, it's not gonna keep this area nice and green forever. But at least at the lower levels, it's about 10 days worth of water. So that's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, you are, okay, halfway there. Good. Let's have a look how things are up here as well. Batteries are full again. Okay, I think we can be pretty happy with this setup. Seems to be quite a good balance between production and the cane of energy right now. One second, wait, we have 12 spare columns. No jobs for them, which is unusual. Okay, so that's gonna down about 200, it seems. Right, right, right. Uh, let's see, you still have a lot of biofuel, right? And we could use potentially a few more haulers in here. So why don't we increase this to, let's say, 30. Okay, six of you are spare right now, but we shall... Let's put a few in here. Okay, you're full as well. And you have quite a bit of scrap metal, so... It's quite a hike for them to go through the river, so perhaps a few extra bots will uh, speed up the progress there as well. Right, have we started? Yes, we have, it seems. Okay, I'm... Glad they are working at the central part first. Actually, this might be a little bit easier. Nope, we are going to have to go up a little bit. Okay, so we can highlight the stairs as well, and hopefully that gets done first. I guess we could have also done it this way. Yeah. 
and if you do the outsides first that gives us a little bit more access to the other parts as well okay good so that's the mountain production here seems to be good as well i think paper is pretty full wasn't it oh yeah 800 it could also be another resource that we export from here therefore we would not need for these two paper mills anymore i have already paused the power wheels and most of the production here as well since uh, planks and gears are already imported and the power is connected with the forestry district as well all right another truck coming in three days now this hill is looking very lovely nice and green up here and i think all of our stockpiles all the log piles are already complete and full all right our next milestone was supposed to be somewhere here so we are gonna have to make a bit of space empty this storage but i do think we want those levees to go all the way through till somewhere not exactly sure where yet science points okay so you're fine as well right so let's take a look how do we want to do it here i guess they are going to climb up so let's see we place some stairs okay uh we probably should have moved this road even further back if we start letting in some water here but uh, hmm let's see okay this also means we can remove everything from this zone i guess the first farm could be right about here okay we'll plan you in and we'll give you access as well all right there we go now when it comes to filling this up there's a couple of ways we could do it we could just disconnect it and allow the water to flow in that might be fine actually because hmm i think we do want to regulate it somehow however yeah but for now let's just measure it out how it's gonna look and i think in the middle all right the longest bridge takes 3200 that's quite a bit but it's something we do want so if we measure you out let's delete this road as well are we able to connect you oh there's just one bit in the middle okay but if the stairs or the the bridge goes from here that means we can link you up oh no it's gonna have to go from here because i want this road yeah to continue okay right so let's place you there oh uh, no not here it's gonna be in the middle right 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 so why don't we it's gonna be easier this way let's remove everything all right there we go uh, <laughs> now the question is do we actually want to have like a something in the middle here i mean access wise it might be best if they can go in and out from the middle but you know what never mind here as well actually we do want to change this route up by a little bit have this constructed please so that way we can place the next bridge as well and then as soon as you're done we can build the bridge right on this corner oh we might not have any more columns working as builders here so yeah let's just wait a little bit all right there we go so now you are connected and we can start putting in some resources over here as soon as the link is done we can fix up this zone a little bit more as well and uh, rearrange this I think if we don't want to go or cut too much into here wait we are producing enough maple syrup so never mind i take it back it would be nice to leave a bit of a forest in here that's quite a large area already so how about we do you uh straight through here should be fine right all of these trees can go and now we need uh, levees right there forester can go as well Ah, uh, you haven't been emptied because there's nowhere else to place those logs. Well, fair enough. Oh uh, no. Let's keep the keep the road there for the time being. And yeah, I don't think we need them so desperately anymore. 
So all of this can go as well. You are now empty, which is great. And I guess if you can't... Okay, we might lose access to this section here. But I think it's fine because it's just forestry and medicines coming through this route, so yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's cut this link. And all we need now is some logs. You haven't started yet, but that's okay as well. And then we shall connect you up right over there. Actually, get those trees out first, please. It wouldn't be nice. Uh, never mind what we can do. Let's put a temporary road here just to block them in. And now we can leave you for a second. Uh, yeah, still carrying over some logs. Ah, uh, what would have been smart if I left this log pile in here so they could have grabbed the logs, but oh well. What is done is done. Let's have a look over here. Okay, quite a bit of uh, earth has been moved around. And now you have access to the bottom levels. There we go. We see one of those spots. Climb down to start constructing these sections here. Yeah, so that's pretty pretty lovely. Alright, it seems our treated blanks stockpile is pretty low. So one thing I do want to do, I noticed some of the bots running and carrying some goods around as well. Um, this, this just means we don't have enough. Yeah, haulers helping them out. So we are going to put bots in this one once again. We still have two spare ones somewhere. Alright, one is over there. None over here. Okay, that's that's a little weird. Zero spare ones here. One here. Where's the last one then? Oh. We still have... Someone living here. Right, there we go. I forgot to switch it to columns mode. But now he's going to build... All the beehives that we need. Alright, three spare ones. So you are... Okay, they've already disappeared somewhere, which is... Great in a way, I guess. Uh, right, so the factories seem to be running. Hopefully they get stocked up as a priority. Dirt seems to be a bit of a problem as well. Only 30-something left in there. Um, don't have a lot of treated planks, but I do feel the need for another excavator. You know what? Why not? Let's do it. Let's get it built. Highest priority, since we're not really producing any metal right now anyways. Yeah, all three of them are... have been paused and we got tons of scrap metal. Uh, since there's already quite a bit coming in from the other one, why don't we reduce the consumption of Three, uh, three the planks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so three spare ones, but they can go into the dirt excavator as long as soon as it's online. Right there we go. We take one more off, so now we have four spare ones. And uh, hopefully we get enough three the planks to finish the construction of this one. I mean, cares the metal seems to be okay. Actually, we do have to keep an eye on. Uh, I think I spoke too soon. Okay. There we go. Let's change you over. You as well. You are not connected. Oh, that's a little odd. Let's have a look. What are you doing? Oh, you don't have the range to plant the last tree in here. Well, fair enough. That's fine. It's not a priority right now. We can fix you up at some other time. Alright, a little bit more dirt now, which is good. But we are still building the uh, second one. So as soon as we get the metal, which is now back operational. Let's do one more. We got enough scrap metal right now. We might as well get the production up and running. Oh yeah, we paused it because of the pine resin, wasn't it? It's still pretty low though. Okay, you are already right so you can't access that side over there. Which we can fix pretty easily. I think in the long term, yes, there's going to be a dirt pile here. But for now, quick easy fix. You should be paused. Yep, there we go. Alright. So you also have access to all those trees, which is good. 
Oh yeah, still pretty low. Even with two of them running, I do feel the need for a third one. And there's going to be quite a sizable forest over here. No, that's not a good location. I mean, here would be nice as well, but let's have a look. So you cover most of those trees and you need to get lower to the lower levels as well. I suppose if we place you here, that covers quite a few trees down here. Well, not too many, actually. Uh, all of this forest, everything up there, and also on these levels. Okay, good. So let's do a few more pine trees around this area as well. We're not really using this space for anything, so it doesn't, and it won't hurt us to put a few extra trees in just like so. All right, access wise. Hmm. <laughs> I think this link can be removed and we can also put some more pine trees over there all right you are busy again planting trees everywhere lovely how is this going so treated planks and metal blocks okay fine we'll leave you as it is let's check on oh okay well you look at that that is almost done right this means we could actually unpause one of the underground storages. You take logs, planks and gears, all of which we have plenty. And then I suppose this road could in the future also be... Oh no, it steps back a little bit. Hmm. The main entrance is here. I guess it, if it comes from this side, it's fine. Because the district center is over there. And the distribution center, I think we will want to put it on one of the lower levels in the future as well. Alright, maybe something like this in the future is how we're going to connect you up. Okay, well there we go. All we have to do is finish the side platforms here, which of course we are waiting for metal blocks. But that is fine, we can finish this off in one of the future episodes. And then we'll fill up the rest of it with some dirt as well. And we can start the construction of some entertainment services up on this hill right next to the housing. As soon as the storage is completed as well, they'll have food right next to the, next to the homes, entertainment here. And the last thing we have to bring here is a bit of water for drinking as well. And then, and then yeah, beavers will have everything close to them what they'll need for living. All right, so I think it's pretty good time to cut the episode here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>